Hey, what's up guys? My name is Garen. I'm a professional illustrator and designer from South Wales. Today I'm going to show you how to plot a horizon line and two vanishing points, left and right. And then I'm going to show you how them two vanishing points converge together to create objects in space. Okay, so let's plot in our vanishing points. So we're going to imagine that our first vanishing point is somewhere over here on the right hand side. And the same over here on the left hand side. So I'm going to start with the left. Much difference realistically. Because you can kind of see if it's off anyway, regardless. So what I'm doing now is I'm just roughly eyeballing where this right vanishing point is on the outside the canvas so I'm eyeballing from here inwards and I'm about to do the same from this side I'm, I know there's techniques so you can do this with the star tool or the line tool you can make a star and do just lay them in like that but I think they, you kind of learn stuff from dropping in your own perspective grid so I wouldn't you kind of learn how objects converge you're going to keep hearing me say converge right there's no set uh, third point obviously so when you paint and draw in two point perspective you're only following two vanishing points and generally you want them to be off the canvas at equal distances unless you want something more dynamic then that way you push one closer to the screen so, so yeah this is where it's like doing one from underneath and from here you can go you can put another one to his right just follow this line, follow this line. Doesn't matter if it's completely accurate, as long as they kind of go into the same direction, you should be fine. So we grab this perspective point, this perspective point, and you just go, you just lead your lines back to the certain vanishing point that you want to meet with each edge of the box. So there's two boxes sitting next to each other. They could be flying cars, they could be whales in the water they could be a really big bird i don't know clouds potentially and then you can do down here so two point perspective is my favorite perspective i think three point is for fancy angles kind of like kim jong gi you can get some really dynamic angles with three point perspective he kind of goes a bit mad he kind of even goes further than three point. He kind of goes um, like five point where to the point where he gets like all curved, which is sorry. Let me zoom in. It's probably hard for you to see back there. Me full screen as well. Perhaps that'll help. So uh, as you can see, I'll kind of try and break down my thought process here now. So I'm going to put a little box next next to this one here. My first line, my, my first vertical line. And then I'm going to go, just make him go back to that right vanishing point. And I'll do the same again, parallel underneath. And then I'm going to add a vertical line in. This gives me one plane of the box. And because of the angle I have made on the top and bottom line, here and here, it will appear as if you're looking down on it as it's below the horizon line. So, as you probably know from my one point lesson, but here, yeah, obviously the perspective is not spot on, but this gives you a rough idea of what is happening in the scene. So say I want a little box back here now. So I'll just draw a little box back here. 
invalid my perspective. I'm kind of, I'm just trying to think where would that line need to go and I think it kind of need to go that direction. Add that in lightly here. And then I do my parallel lines and I do the same thing again. Add another line in to go the same direction and then the same for this one. And then to match I do another one the same direction and then the other one the exact same direction as the other these two here on the left so now you zoom out get a box it's not clean you can clean her up if you want to i'm not going to clean her up as you can see here the vanishing point to the right and left are quite far away from um, the canvas itself so you don't get distorted uh perspective unless you go all the way up here and even then it still wouldn't be distorted so here we want to i'm just gonna kind of eyeball this in here i'm gonna add another box i'm gonna have it overlap this one just like i showed you in the last video i'm gonna give it thick outlines you don't have to do it that heavy I'm just doing it to illustrate a point see? so you see how that works um and then you, you can you can just keep repeating this process. You can do it for vertical objects. Rectangle. Kind of wavy, but rectangle. Just a very bad line. Still very bad. Whatever, it doesn't matter. You kind of get the point anyway. You can kind of see that it's working already, regardless. Um, I'm gonna put a building back here. I don't know why, but I'm just gonna run it parallel to this line above it. If you notice, with your perspective grid, like I spoke about in the last video, they kind of run parallel to each other. So. This line will run parallel to this line, so I'll just kind of run it back. I'll be in parallel to, the, parallel to that. And then I'm going to just add my vertical line again. And then I'm going to add in a, another building, another vertical line, another parallel line, vertical line, and I'll just close it off. Yeah, but we could do a character in this, but I'll save that for another tutorial, I think. Right, anyway guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it if you like, comment, subscribe, and turn your notification bell on to be notified when I post the next part of this series. Um, next part is three-point perspective, in which I'll teach you how to use all three vanishing points to create dynamic, sometimes warped... Um, boxes characters figures in space it's handy for all types of things um yeah anyway thanks for watching